today we're out here with Brian from VTech Academy. He invited us out here with my fiance, Miss VTech. So we're all going to be out here driving these three cars. Uh, she's going to drive hers as well. This is for the Falcon Tires Super Saloon Shootout. Uh, so Brian, let us know what's yeah. going on with the car. So basically, uh, we've got a couple four-door sedans here that we've been daily driving for years, and we wanted to have a little bit of a shootout between the three cars to see whose car was the best. So uh, one of the events we're doing is on track. So we chose to come down here to Muscle In, which has a nice little track. It's low pressure, but you can tell which car is going to handle the best by taking around this track. So Brandon, who is very familiar with this track, we just invited him down to be his guest driver because we didn't want to just have me driving against uh, the other guys in my own car. We wanted somebody who hadn't driven the cars, who's familiar with the track, drive them and tell us, you know, give us honest feedback on how the cars do. We also wanted Miss VTech to come out. We have what we call the girlfriend test. So she's going to be here. Uh, doing some driving as well and kind of giving us some feedback on the cars because these are daily drivers So we do want to get a little bit of feedback on how they are to drive, you know, by you know, if you had a girlfriend and I'm she, married, but you know, yeah, and, and she has her swapped Honda that she daily drives So she has at least experience driving a swapped trackable Honda because she's been on this track a bunch of times with hers, too That's right. So we thought it would all uh, work really well with our little shootout and uh, and so happy you guys could come down and join us. I really appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it, yes. Oh, you bet, <laughs> absolutely. So anyway, we're here at Muscleman Honda and we got a big shout out. Thanks to uh, Craig and Charles for allowing us to come down here. That is fantastic and it's a really nice track. So we're gonna get some video footage of on track and everything and, and, and see how it works out. And we'll get some times too to see at yeah. least there and then my critiques will have a little bit of judge on there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what are we driving? My 2007 Honda Accord value package. Lightly modified, has a K24A2, I have a TSX with the matching six-speed gearbox. Uh, some D2 Super Race coilovers, I believe they're called. They're nice remote reservoir shock. Fast brakes, uh, Willwood big brake kit at the on the front. And uh, half sport mounts and a side bond hood. It's actually pretty lightly modified, makes a nice daily. Except for right now, it's a little too stiff. But uh, hoping to do some battle, you know. Hoping to prove to uh, these lighter weight Civics that double wishbone five link is worth the price of a larger car that weighs more. I brought Project Dadmobile 2007 Honda Civic Si, four door. It's my daily driver, I drive it everywhere. I drive it cross country, drove it. When I moved to Minnesota, I drive it back. I drive it to Las Vegas a million times. I drive it all over California for events. I drive it back and forth to Arizona and San Diego. The car is pretty stock, but so far it has Progress CS2 coilovers. It has a Progress rear sway bar, 22 millimeter sway bar. It has Koenig hypergrams wrapped in our lovely Falcon tires. It has what you call a hot air intake. I call it engine cold air intake. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. I brought Project Black and Blue, my Civic that's been my daily driver for quite some time. Originally picked it up back in 2002 as a theft recovery, and it had the first K-series swap in one of these cars using the Hasbro mount kit. And it's been developed over the years for different uh, events. Right now, it doesn't have the turbo K20 anymore. It has a TSX motor with TSX transmission. We have a uh, rear disc conversion as well. That's AM, slightly bigger rear disc. It's got, of course, the Falcon tires on it, FNO1 RC wheels, and electronic power steering. We're gonna see how a uh, black and blue holds up. Uh, this is the one that has had the most issues today, so I'm gonna drive it first. And then we'll switch out to all the other stuff. Should be fun. You're gonna see if you can break it? Oh yeah. That's what Brandon's best at. No oh, stinks. Spinning. Spinning. <laughs> but you're not even on the track yet. I know. That's bad. So with black and blue, it didn't want to turn left. Because, like you would, you would go to turn left and it would just be stiff. It, it fought wanting to go left. But if you turned right, it li that's all it wanted to do was turn right. It was really smooth. It might have something to do with whatever noise is happening back in the driver corner. Nope, the battery went. Oh no. Black and Blue's power was nice if you were going straight, but because it had an open diff, it would fight me with one tire fire coming out of corners. 
memorial. Oh, yeah. I was having a fun time. Alright. I mean, it was feeling good, but then, like, I felt the power steering go out, and I thought about the battery, and then the car died, and I was like, oh, this is, uh, what happened to Brian. Okay. Okay, that one's good. Okay. After a quick car swap? Yep, let's, uh, go be on target. <laughs> wow, there's so much more leg room. <laughs> it's like we're in like a full-size car again. All right, we're on track review. We're not on a street review, okay? <laughs> the Accord not having a sway bar fought me a lot. It it would have traction, and then when you don't have a sway bar in the rear, when it gets so loaded, it'll just kind of give away, and it's unpredictable. Having a sway bar would at least let the car turn easier, and it would be very predictable. The ABS fought me everywhere. Sometimes I'd feel the ABS, you know, pulsating and doing its job. Other times it would just feel like I wasn't slowing down at all. I wish I could say the brakes are good, but I hate them. <laughs> They're big. Yeah, but that's about it. All right, let's swap with Ario. Yeah. Okay. All right, Dadmobile it is. You ready? Dadmobile drove really nice. Uh, I know I drove it a few years ago and I recommended a rear sway bar and some other stuff. He's done springs and the sway bar and a mount. It drove nice coming out of the corners. All, all the cars are on the same tires, but for whatever reason, Dadmobile felt more stuck to the ground than the other. Dadmobile only made me want more aggressive brake pads. It was just enjoyable to drive. I really want to see the times because I'm curious right now. Brandon took the cars around and uh, I'm going to announce the lap times. And then you can tell us what you thought of the cars. So, in last place was my Civic, which I did not expect at all. Oh, the TSX. He did a 107.406. I'm bummed. But it was cool. All I was right. fighting it. Yeah. And second place was the Accord. Oh, yeah? At a 106, 128. All right. Well, just where I thought I would. <laughs> and in first place, surprise, surprise, Pacific SI. Probably because it's mostly stock. Holy. <laughs> I did not expect it to be. The, the quickest. That's, no, that's amazing. Oh, we didn't hear the time. Yeah, we didn't oh. hear the time. Yeah, Civic SI. One oh three point eight seconds faster. It wasn't even close. The Admobile for the win. For the win. So we're wrapping up the day with VTech Academy. Uh, me and Ariel, Miss VTech, we we had a good day. It wasn't a perfect day, but we had a good day. Um, I don't know. How do you like driving other people's cars? It was fun. My first time driving anyone else's car on track before, uh, so that was a good experience. Definitely was a little more skittish at first until I realized that I could push it a little harder. And then I got sick, so that went out the window. But uh, other than that, it was actually pretty much pretty fun. And all the cars are, you know, pretty well suited for track day, just like the wagon is as a daily and a track car. So we'll see where they score with their points and who ends up winning the Falcon Tire competition thingy. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're actually gonna be doing a little bit more with them in the future, so keep an eye out for those videos. Um, and definitely go check out VTech Academy, because this is their series. So we're just kind of tagging, tagging along and you're gonna see our side of what they're shooting, but theirs is gonna be very interesting. Yeah. 